uh welcome everybody we'll be watching the sony state of play starts in about five six minutes uh very excited not sure what to expect here um sony has been a little bit quiet for a while since the ps5 launched but i think they're going to talk about horizon ratchet and clank um and you could probably expect a few third parties in there you know i'm like i'm expecting capcom maybe they'll show off a few things maybe they'll show off something for resident evil 8 uh new devil may cry you know, I, maybe we could expect some new third party reveals you know here we go ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching there's some very oh. unexpected developments in your future. Crash Bandicoot 4 Shocking DLC. events that will change the course of your life. Oh, that's too loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> that last part might have been a hair Ooh, dramatic. That was really loud. Apologies. Awesome I gotta missions. turn it down Coming here. Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time experience. DLC. On PlayStation 5. Yeah. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Lou Stutter, creative producer at Toys huh. for Bob. I'm here to give you the feature rundown of Crash Bandicoot 4 on PS5. That includes 4K at 60 frames per second, adaptive triggers, 3D audio. This wasn't released on PS5 already? This, this came out after the PS5, right? Picking up where Crash Bandicoot Warp left off. In Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. We find the evil masterminds, Neocortex and Dr. Entropy, escaping a once thought inescapable interdimensional prison, leaving giant holes in the universe. We will be getting back to the Crash Bandicoot franchise. For Crash and his marsupial pals. We designed Crash Bandicoot 4 to leap off your screen, brimming with bold, vibrant environments and characters. Crash Bandicoot has always looked pretty suave, but wait until you see him spinning heads in native 4K at 60 frames per second. With the weight of the universe on your shoulders, and probably some errands to run, there's little time to wait on loading screens. Yo, Cortex is a bad guy. controllers bring adaptive <laughs> triggers to your fingertips. So you can feel the blast of Neocortex's DNA changing. Oh, they've, let, they've let you play as him before. The grip when you a ton of this is shot. different though. They got a lot Long more gameplay you mechanics the to the characters. To jet board it's and very cool. Really feel the suck when you vacuum as Dingo Dial. Is this multiplayer? When you fully immersed in the Crash Bandicoot universe. Crank it up to 11 and take your audio into an all new dimension with enhanced 3D audio. Oh, this must have sold well for them. They're probably like, all right, let's get Crash Bandicoot 5 on the ball, baby. <laughs> Bandicoot Master. But should our genetically mutated marsupial lose his way, leverage PlayStation 5 activity cards to track your progress and hit your goals for things like time trials. You love that it's a Long bad guy? Levels, the Neocortex the is a center for higher brain functions such as perception, decision making, and language. Even bring your incomplete oh. save over from the PlayStation 4 and use the activity cards that, to get the animation was sick. Oh, and one more thing. If you own the PS4 version of the game, an upgrade option is available. Check out the PlayStation blog for full oh. details. I think it's like Whether 10 bucks. Whether it's first playthrough or your 100th, there's no better time to experience Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time on PlayStation 5. Mm, okay. Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea to show this because, you know, Crash Bandicoot's kind Welcome of associated back, with PlayStation. The gang's so. all here on today's new edition of State of Play. We've got some great updates lined Let's up go. for you. First, let's check out the latest on an eagerly anticipated this game is coming a new to the game. PS5 console this spring from PlayStation Studios. This is a new franchise hey thing, so I'm, cu I'm curious how this looks. Give you this sneak peek at Returnal. Returnal. In Returnal, you will play as Selene, an Astra scout, who crash lands on an alien planet, Atropos, after receiving a mysterious signal, White Shadow. Players will explore this inscrutable, dark planet in search for answers and unfold mysteries, which may point to a So pretty. Yeah, it looks cool, right? Dashing and quickly maneuvering your way above and around enemies is key to survival in return. I'm getting heavy Mass Effect vibes from this, but much better than Andromeda. That's what I thought I remember when I saw this uh, in the event last year. We probably reacted to this event. Death. Oh no. Oh god. It's a roguelike. The world will change. But on a triple A budget. Wow. Enemies will appear in new locations and in differing numbers. So you have to think fast and adapt. Well, that's 
Here you can see the it's use be of unique. lightning alt fire, which is great for crowd control. This is one of many alt fires that you can acquire in the game. This could be a great co-op game, bro. The world, uh, the world reshapes when you die. Looks like it, yeah. You will stumble across mysterious devices that can grant rewards to the player. These will vary from weapons, consumables, and upgrades, and they can completely change your playstyle and make each cycle feel unique. Besides the intense combat, Returnal also has a deep and engaging narrative. We allow players to piece together the puzzle that is the story of Selene. She's got a wedgie. Deeper and deeper Does she? And into her personal nightmare. Is that why she's walking? That's... <clears throat> that can't be here. <clears throat> I think I am reliving my memories in that house, but not fully. Ethan. Corroded. Some parts are missing, others seem manufactured. But I can remember the torment, feeling like I was losing my mind. <sighs> There's no comfort here, no safe space. Curious. Exactly as I left it. Her pants are so tight you can't see no penny lines. <laughs> Returnal lands on April 30th, and it's developed by the talented team at Housemark. That's cool. Yeah, it looks it looks Next, fun. Let's take a closer look at uh, a it looks very dark. It looked like it'd be PS4 a good game to play Knockout through for a while. City. What's this? New brawler, huh? Hi, I'm Josh from Bellin Studios. We're an indie developer based in upstate New York, and we recently announced Knockout City, a team-based multiplayer action game for PS4 where rival crews settle their scores with epic Is this dodgeball? Dodge oh my god, it's a dodgeball game! We're playing this. There's a lot of depth here for those who've got the skills. If it's free to play. If it's not free to play, I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. Constantly shrinking battleground, relying on your reflexes and abilities to knock out an opponent. There's only five rules. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Use trick shots to lob a ball over a ledge or hook it around a corner. We'll be uh the Joe's average Joe's gym. When you're in a tough spot with a ball looks like Rocket League. Leg, a last second dodge is the difference. It's got that it's got that uh, free to play look of a Rocket League type. Keep your wits about you and outplay your opponent to bring home a win. Dude, we're gonna get into the era where everybody's like just throwing random shit together because they want to see what what the next big what the next big thing is gonna be. Because uh, battle royales ain't it anymore, but they're still the most popular because nothing's come to take its place yet. New map that you'll find in our upcoming crossplay beta. The special ball for this match is the sniper ball, which locks onto targets from far across the map and wham, you can take them out. Some indie studios react. become like one of the biggest Beyond studios balls, like Minecraft. A unique mechanic. In back alley brawl, you can hop into a tube and make a quick getaway or use them to sneak up on your opponent. There you go. Caught empty handed. Random shit is exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a bunch of random teammate. stuff. But you know, that's how you find a new formula. Or risk it all. Charge up a teammate, something that's fun to play you know if this if this is fun to play huge you know imagine a, a just a regular serious version of this maybe more people will get into it this the looks like it's made for phones with building this world over the last four years probably is going to be on phones may 21st and we'd love your help in our final stretch of development rally your crew and sign up for our crossplay beta at knockoutcd.com to play early on playstation see you soon brawlers all right the assume brawlers don't leave your dodgeballs at home time for something new here's your first look at an upcoming ps5 game from the team at slow clap well slow clap uh oh Kung Fu! Oh! Oh, yeah! Yeah, that's cool. It looks indie, but it looks cool. Oh. 
Just like the raid movie. Let me guess. You wake up and you've aged? What? Oh, it's gonna be like John Wick. But just Kung Fu. It looks like a cliche Kung Fu movie, yes! But in game form, which they have not mastered yet. This looks like an awesome time. Oh, oh my god, we're playing this. We're playing this. I'm already there. PS4, PS5? Okay, PS4 it is. That was the debut of Sifu. Coming Sifu. to the PS5 console later this year. Now, now you're an old man. On Solar Maybe every time you die, you... New PS5 you... Adventure from Heart Machine. Oh, look at this. There you go. What's this? Solar Ash. Sifu means master, yeah. I remember this from the la their last big event. Yeah, Sifu does mean master. Sifu Hotman. Mm. Hey, everyone. I'm Alex Preston. Creative director of Heart Machine. You might know us as the team behind Hyperlight Drifter. Today, I'm here to show you. Ah, the first of the gameplay for Hyperlight Drifter guys. Solar Ash. They're a good indie studio. Solar Ash is a huge, stylish 3D platformer focused on speed, oh. movement, and fluidity. The game is set. That looks like fun. Black hole, just just swimming around, you know, like Journey. Which has been consuming everything in its path. You play as Ray. Can I turn it up? Yeah, yeah. Runner. Who has decided to venture into this terrifying anomaly as a last ditch effort to save her home world? Ray is extremely agile, able to speed across the world with abilities akin to skating. On the ashen clouds, she can quickly cover great distances in our huge world. At its core, Solar Ash is a game about movement, and Ray has everything she needs to flow through the dangerous and unique world. As you journey to save your planet, you'll find yourself face to face with grotesque and violent creatures. Our combat system is simple, fast, and fluid, built to empower players and encourage flow. As you I like the way it looks, the it looks fun to traverse. Enemy yeah. encounters will scale to greater and greater sizes. Some of these creatures require speed and precise timing to defeat. Ray will eventually need to face the massive sentinels of this void. Oh man. Wretched, starved beasts that hold the key to her quest. It's giving my anxiety with the heights. <laughs> That's great depth. Getting that anxiety pumping up. Oh wow. That's cool. I could play that. Solar Ash is Heart Machine's vision of the adventure platformer. The giant spaces, the feel of movement, the flow of combat, and the high stakes battles atop enormous take quick beasts Thank you everybody for all watching. come together to bring players something we think is incredibly unique, and more importantly, fun. This game is a labor of love for everyone on the Heart Machine team. We're excited to bring Solar Ash to PS5 and PS4 later this year. I like it. I paid like 40 bucks for it. If you're a fan of scary games, this next one is for you. When I first found you, you were nothing. Oh man, what the? You were small. What is this? Pathetic. Friday now, nights at Freddy or whatever. You are Part more. seven. Are you ready? Oh my God! Risk of Rain meets Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, hey, that sounds cool, right? Speaking of Risk of Rain, I still got it there. We are going to be playing some indie games soon. I'm just trying to finish up Mario. When fear takes hold. Oh my god, this is Friday Nights at Freddy's or whatever they're called. Isn't it? Or this is some weird ass Chuck E. Cheese game. Gregory. We can get you out of here. They're Do going AAA. To no more phone games. No, on top of phone games. They won't stop hunting you. None of them will oh, stop hunting you. Oh, this is a real you. game, though. What? 
yeah, this is cool. Yeah. This looks like a crazy ass, uh, like going through a mall situation, you know, trying to avoid dying. You will do as I say. You will bring me what I want. And if you fail me, oh, that looks so fun. Both of you burn. Stealth game. Yeah, it's a it's a horror game pretty much, just with the Freddy Uverse characters. I can't believe this franchise is still going. They're smart though. Invest in a big game like this. Oh my god, people will buy it up. There's already millions of people on the phones. Security breach. There is oh. more going on here than you realize. I'm never gonna play it after Alien. Yeah, Alien was a long game and intense. I think you would have probably enjoyed more playing through Outlast that was because Outlast was a sweet six or seven hours. You know, security breach. It was. It was real. I thought it was, Outlast was great. Up that was next, the best horror game I played last year. Oddworld Soulstorm. You were miserable, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it was a long game. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director of Oddworld. At Oddworld. They always create like these Today, epic I'm ass take you trailers. A brief tour of our newest game, Oddworld Soulstorm. So this is the third time we've seen it. So what's going on? Come. Do you know why you? I finished it though. You did. In Soulstorm, GG. you reprise the role of That's a great, you finished accidental it. hero turned. I want. I want to play it one day, but because of how long it is, I don't know if I ever will. As you battle through weird, I really like the alien movies. In an effort to escape the all-powerful and eternally greedy Gluckens. Aliens. We really wanted Speaking to bring this world to life with what we call 2.9D platforming, which adds much more depth and immersion for the player. This sense of connection is also reinforced through the use of the dual senses haptic feedback, as you'll now be able to feel Abe's heartbeat in high alert and suspenseful situations. Heartbeat. Interesting. There are well over 1,000 fellow Mudakins that you must try to save along the way. But they are far more than helpless workers looking to be saved. When used effectively, you'll be able to solve puzzles, harness their combined energy, and be given the tools they need to fight alongside you. And there will be times when the extra hands will be needed as you face off against an array of heavily armed enemies that will stop at nothing to find and end Abe once and for all. In order to stand a chance against this much larger threat, we gave Abe the ability to scavenge, loot, and pickpocket items from his surroundings and use them to craft an impressive arsenal of his own that he can share with others. You can also play as a non-lethal pacifist okay. or an agent of chaos. We wanted you to have the choice. But there is one iconic ability for our shamanic protagonist, possession. This mystical power allows you to take control of your foes and use their strengths and weapons against them or use them to gain access to paths still ahead. The Oddworld universe is a diverse place, and this means that there are some environments and situations the that require would be going a little more thought, somehow. patience, and stealth. They're gonna come back. You'll find dark and dangerous caves, heavily guarded industrial sites, and ancient forgotten lands. Here, we've built lots of opportunities for you to test your skills and find different ways to handle things. It won't be easy. If being hunted by an army backed by a shady and wealthy organization isn't bad enough, there are also more dangers in the forms of natural obstacles, ancient traps, trials against swarming dark creatures, and industrial hazards that must be dodged, crossed, and avoided. Ultimately, Abe's journey is one of hope, freedom, and truth. There is a rich and engaging narrative to discover in a world full of lies. And we've been oh, able God. to bring our characters to life like never before. In true Oddworld fashion, your actions in-game will decide the fate of Abe and all those you managed to liberate along the way. And we can't wait to see what you will do. So he can't really open his mouth all that much. Jesus. That's terrifying. That's creepy with the eyes. <laughs> uh, that's good. That was the latest I'd on play that. Oddworld Soulstorm. And here's some exciting news. Active PlayStation Plus members will get the PS5 version for no extra cost starting oh. in April. Okay. Moving on. It's time to catch up with Kina Bridge of Spirits, a gorgeous new adventure we last saw on the June PS5 showcase. Bridge of Spirits. Dora, how dare you, sir? 
That is clearly beyond good and evil. Something like that. Or, um, oh god, what was that? Uh, that game from Rare on the 360 from the launch? Was it Cameo? It had a, a lady with like a staff. Yeah. Something tells me you did not come to our village looking for forest creatures. Hello, spirit. I seek passage. It's like a Pixar game. Our village is bound to the shrine's energy. But that power faded. But one thing's clear. Oh, there it is. Gameplay. I was like, cinematics are great. Show me the gameplay. Trapped spirits linger here. Tangled in the tragedies of our past. We must help these spirits if you wish to reach the light. Okay. You have to go now. I come from the Kokiri Forest, Link. Oh god. Certainly looks good. Now let's settle looks in for fun. a stylish new look at Deathloop. I'd, PS5 I'd, I'd play first-person shooter developed by the team at Arcane. Call. What? You'll never ever break this loop. What is this? No Arcane. Just you, me, and the rest of these maniacs. Oh, this is that death count game. This is still not out. Bring it, baby. Mm. The games are slacking last year because of the COVID stuff, this you know. Ditty goes out to the but they're coming out. They're coming out soon. Trying to break our loop. Cold. The visionaries are ready to dance. Have any of these games had release dates? You just said like spring, right? From the guys who've done Dishonor. This is what Dishonor looks like. If you ever decide to play it. Mm. Dishonor is exactly like this. The teleportation and everything. 
except you have an arrow gun. Man, Sony must have said, "What's your next game? I want, uh, I want exclusivity rights right now." It's five hundred million dollars. Five hundred million. You need more? How about six hundred million? Eh. No problem. Over people, and so is Ramblin' Frank. The rest of you motherfuckers are next. Interesting trailers today. They're getting creative. Yeah. That was like a James Bond intro. First, you don't succeed, die, die again. Before we leave, how about before a we huge leave? Update oh yeah, it's been 26 minutes. Most wow. Celebrated games. Whoa. Black camera. Oh, oh, Final Fantasy. Oh, it's coming to PS5. Okay. Getting that upgrade. Definitely recommend this game. Amazing game of music. Amazing gameplay. Amazing. It's not a slow game like every other uh, classic Final Fantasy. It's, it's more like Final Fantasy 15. Definitely a lot there to play too. Like 59 uh, hours. I think it took me to be played. A touching reunion. I'm surprised well, I didn't play the music there. Finally made it to Midgar. Who's this? Oh, an, an addition. Huh? My name is Yuffie. Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. We'll prove to our common She's enemy not in the game. that Wutai is not to not be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, we got this. I'm back. Oh my god. Ah, there you Final are. Fantasy Someone's people collectively uh, just crap their pants. Sorry about that. Anyway, it's Because this is new content. You. I'm Sonon Kasakabe. Where's Clown? We lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Well, of course he will. They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? No, better not. After what they've done, you gotta assume Shinra's on their tail. Look, a Moogle! Hmm? <laughs> Stop! <sighs> we gotta help. A new team! Is this a new story? Get out of town! Hey. Oh my god! This is a damn good game, so just another reason to get back into it. Once I get to PS5. I, I don't imagine this coming to PS4 as well. If it is, we're there. Day one. Hey yo! You guys should probably get moving. Got it. Whatever it is they're planning, you're better off out of it. We deserve what's coming to them. Yeah. I know you see her do, in the original. Yeah. She's one of the people you play with. There you are. No clue. It just appeared. Definitive edition. Integrate. Now, let the hunt begin. Who in the hell is that? Get down here, Bert. Tifa. It's an in-between story. Yeah. In between story indeed. Graphics on PlayStation 5. I mean. It's got a lot more depth to it. That's good. I'm surprised they're showing this. It already looked amazing on PS4, so. Brighter, some really beautiful moments in this game, guys. I uh, actually look forward to playing this one again because uh, it's been a while since I played a good JRPG. 
and these games always have good like good music good cinematics the story is hilarious to watch but they have some serious moments uh, they have the combat system all they needed to do was change their clothes and a new story boom new game for cheap yeah yeah and th while they're doing that they're working on Final Fantasy 16 they're also working on Final Fantasy 7 part 2 or episode 2 whatever you want to call it so this isn't like an official sequel thing just a side DLC beautiful can you please bring it PS4 though I don't want to wait till you PS5 Optimization mode. Wow, they're not done. They're showing it all. They're showing it all. Here's all the new settings, guys. This is why it is worth paying what you're going to be paying to get it again. All these upgrades. Imagine if, you know, other games did this. Some of them do. Is there a story mode? Yeah. This whole game is a story. This is one huge JRPG. From beginning all the way to end. It took me about 60 hours, I would say, to beat it. Yeah. It's a long game. Long game. But so, like, every section keeps it fresh. Easy mode, story mode. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got an easy mode. They got a bait. Like, they got a mode where you don't even have to use the <laughs> controls. That? You can just let the game... That's like, just do it. it's like a yeah. classic... Um, you know, JRPG where you just let your character do the attack. And you just choose what you want him to do. Uh, or you can do the swipes yourself if you wanted to. So, yeah, they have a, like a super easy mode where nobody kills you. Or they don't really come close to killing you unless they really try. I played some of it after I beat the game last year. It's fun to go through the beginning and... Kill that boss instantly. That was the reveal Not instantly. Of Final Fantasy VII but he didn't really damage me. Coming to the PS5 that's it, I think. 30 minutes. Wow. Very cool. And that's our show. We hope you're as excited as we are for what's to come in 2021. See you next time. Well. That was good. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Sony State of Play Appreciate everybody watching, everybody hanging out.